and welcome back to the Morning Blend with our pet project. Well, if you don't like the bitter cold weather, chances are your pet doesn't like it either. Jill DeGrave is back from the Wisconsin Humane Society with some cold weather safety tips. And her adoptable companion today is Toby. Toby, isn't that a great name? That's he such a snack. great dog name. Yes, he's two years old. He's right? two years old and he's neutered and microchipped oh, all ready to go. He was a surrender because the other dog in the home was not comfortable with him. So, yeah. you know, he's okay. an active. Oh, he likes his pep. Pepperoni. Sure does. He, um, I think he's going to be really fun to train because he's yeah. totally motivated by food, which is yeah. really good. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay. That helps. And he's got this adorable little underbite. He really oh, is cute. He's okay. enjoying meeting everybody and um, very active. He Maybe is active. Some good training, but yeah. that's all possible. Oh, it totally is. And you know, they're never too old to train. So two is really young, and he's going to be a lot of fun because yeah. he's active and I think he would enjoy the activity of a family. And he's very friendly. He went up to everybody. He in did. The studio and he just mm -hmm. wants to like, wants to smell everybody out. And I know. Check he's, everybody out. He's really a great little guy. Yeah. And he's a perfect cute. size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He can jump up size. on the couch and he's um, <laughs> easy. To, I know he loves these pepperonis, but we have one more piece left. That's all you get, bud. Yep. Let's talk a little bit about cold weather. Yeah. And um, first of all, what should people do with cats, the ones who like to go outside? Well, we all know cats should not go outside. Mm -hmm. They should stay inside because it's much safer. You know, the cars, predators, starving, the cold, the heat. So they always should be inside. But I know that there are cats that go outside or that are living outside. Yeah. And the best thing to do is to try to provide if they absolutely will not come in the house. Provide access to a garage if you oh. have a barn. A and barn. you're saying for some, one that lives outside, for like one an that outdoor lives outside cat. that you can't get inside. Yeah. yeah. Maybe and keep a space. your cats in, you know, you can get them used to being inside even if they were inside outside. They squawk a little bit at first, but it's doable. But if a cat is outside all the time, try to make it as comfortable as possible. Um, fresh water that's not frozen. Mm -hmm put bedding down like straw because if you put a blanket down it absorbs the moisture and that oh. can freeze. Oh, so yeah. try to get them through Good these point. really cold times. But they should stay inside our little kitties. It's the safest for them he and the healthiest. He sees himself in his close up. Okay. You know. He is. What about walking dogs? I mean we talked about little booties and things like that but on the bitter cold days the, the ground is so cold and obviously when there's snow or ice out. it Right and I think the, the smaller dogs are affected a little bit. Yeah, you more. see them like picking yeah, up their paws real fast. Up one paw, just limited. It's all common sense. Limit their time outside. Take them out just to eliminate and bring them in. If they don't do it right away, just try it several times or okay. wait a little bit longer and until they do because it is uncomfortable for yeah. them. Well, obviously pups make a fashion statement when they wear the booties yeah. and I know, the coats I know. and the sweaters. But I always wonder too, is there um, is it not just fun is it not just form, but is there function to it too? Oh, totally. Especially not only the cold, but think about the salt that's salt, put down yeah. on the roads. And you'll see <laughs> that even the biggest dogs will lift up a paw because the salt is really irritating. <laughs> it is not always easy to put the booties on and keep them on. Yeah. Um, and usually when you do that, it's it's actually kind of funny because will they, they bite them over off? exaggerate they walking. Yes. They'll pick them each foot up, but. Like well, the horse key is, Exactly. The key yeah. is to desensitize them to it. So put okay. them on just for a short period. Like around the them, house? Yeah. And just kind of get them used to it. And then once they're used to it, you know, it shouldn't be a problem. The only problem can be losing one on the walk mm -hmm. because yeah. you have to make sure they're secured on the top. But coats too. Puppies. Seems and like older they like dogs. clothes more than boots. Yeah. And puppies and older dogs um, are really affected by the cold much more yeah. than your healthy you know, middle-aged dogs. So yeah. just be aware that when it, if we're cold outside, they're probably cold too. Don't leave them out for long periods of time and just <laughs> limit and coat if, if you can and booties if you can. All right, there you go. And give Toby a home too. Here's where you can adopt Toby. It's obviously at the Wisconsin Humane Society right downtown on Wisconsin Avenue. 414 Animals is the website or wihumane.org to see all the adoptables. And he's going to just go find some he's more pepperoni. Checking it out. He's checking yeah. it all out. There he is. You I see how long it. he is. Yeah. Derek, give Thank him one more close up, Toby. Oops. Okay. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Joe. <laughs>